Hi, I'm James Stewart, and this is my world. Been racing for 21 years. I got started because of my dad. He used to race when he, uh, he was a little bit younger. Uh, he wasn't that good. Uh, he, he would be like the weekend warrior in this video game. <laughs> uh, so he got me into it and, and uh, I just kind of had to bug from there. Back when like in the 125s, it was, I used to go to the gate like, like look dude, I don't even know why y'all showed up. There's no sense of y'all even being here right now. Like you can get second through 20th. And uh, that mentality has changed and you get your kicked a few times. The main objective was to come up and see the game, make sure that was exactly how I wanted it. So in this particular event, we kind of sit down with the storyboard out, kind of what we want to see. But it's a six big warehouse with all these cameras, and these cameras pick up these sensors. And all these sensors are on, like I say, on the joint locations, so it'll pick up what the actor's doing. <laughs> all that data gets put on the skeleton. That's really cool. So I can crack her arm like this. <laughs> So when he's a fairly good distance away, our physics kicks in, and then the animation is gone. All the physics just happens to the character, and he'll just hit the ground and behave like a regular body. The whole character is just made out of cloth. We've got like a slider right here. The faster you go, the more it kind of shows. They make up their own mind to a certain extent. They know how to turn, and they know what it takes to turn. You just always just do donuts and try to go to my speed. You know, we are making video games and trying to maintain a level of realism, but Sometimes it's nice, nice to just push it a little bit. I'm like a like nine-year-old when it comes down, like it's all about speed, I cut the track. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We take the reference and we build a, a 3D object. Once we do that, we, we reapply it in 3D and get a finished helmet that we can actually use in game and put on a rider. This is the first game that I've actually like played it and actually got the same sense of like riding. Like, it's the same feeling. Like, I'll go up to jumps and, like, play in the video game and, like, let off, you know, like I do, and have to tell my endo. Yeah, and just five, like, over my head, like, double, trying to triple. <laughs> you know, I think uh, that's the cool part about it is that, you know, it's just not a video game where my face is on the cover. It's a video game where it's my input into it, and uh, I'm proud of it. MX vs. ATV Alive hit stores May 2011.